Okay. Uh, UCSD has asked me to put on a quick presentation on how to study for the patent bar. Um, so here's the, here's the problem with the patent bar. Okay, they they need to give you a test that's tough enough so that you become part of a you know a selective group of people who've passed the patent bar. So they've got to make it hard. The problem is with patent law. Um, 99% of the time, you're dealing with just a couple of laws. There's 35 U.S.C. 112, which says patent attorneys write in complete sentences, use your periods, use words that make sense, use good grammar, that kind of stuff. Um, then there's 35 U.S.C. 101 that says, is it patentable subject matter? So you can't patent your dog, you can't patent a perpetual motion machine because they don't work. 35 U.S.C. 102 says you're not going to get a patent if somebody else has already patented or had a published patent application or had a product out there on the market prior to your application filing date. There are some kind of one-year rules there, plus or minus, but it basically says, has somebody done this before? 35 U.S.C. 103 is the only other law you ever deal with, and that's the one where patent attorneys either make or don't make their money. Uh, 35 U.S.C. 103 says, if your invention is a mere obvious improvement over the prior art, you won't get a patent. And obviously, arguing what is an obvious improvement is where we make or don't make all of our money. So I've just told you the four laws that you need to know about to practice patent law. Unfortunately, um, that took about a minute and a half, and they can't give you a one and a half minute test and let you become a patent agent. So what they have to do instead is they have to test you on all sorts of things that you're never going to use again in your life. Now, I realize this makes it sound cynical, but I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I I still, I don't have in the back of my memory, if you file a Paris Convention application in Australia, and you claim priority to a provisional filed in the United States, how many months do you have to file in Mongolia? I, I'm sorry, I don't know that. I don't remember that. And, and if I ever had to figure that out, I'd just call this Australian patent attorney I know and say, hey... <laughs> Here's the situation. You know what's up? And if, and if they couldn't answer, I'd call over to Mongolia, ask them. So um, they test you on all these things that you're probably never going to use again in your life. Um, I would not stand a chance of pass, passing the patent bar right now. I can guarantee that. Just I couldn't pass the California bar right now. I've, you know, I got out of law school in 1985. I've forgotten everything I knew about criminal procedure, I think. I mean, I know you can't, you know, you got to read somebody their rights and you can't beat them up, but other than that, I don't, I don't know much about it. So, um, you, the only way I can see that you have a fighting chance to pass this test is to take a prep course and study, <laughs> and study, um, study what they teach you. Because uh, as a practical matter, even if you're a patent attorney, you can go work for a patent attorney. You're not going to learn what you need to know. So, I take a prep class. I mean, I don't mean to date myself here, but um, I think I took the Barbary um, patent bar course. I don't, I don't even think they're in business anymore. But there's probably a bunch of people out there that have some sort of a, a patent review course. Uh, you know, back when I when I did it, you had to actually you know walk to a place and listen to somebody talk to you. Now I'm sure it's all online and on Zoom. But yeah, I definitely take a patent bar review course. And I'd give yourself enough time to really do some, really do some studying. Um, and from what I understand, they're letting you use the MPEP, um, which is basically the the Bible for how to write patent applications. I would get really, really familiar with the index there because you could be looking up a whole bunch of stuff because there's no way that you can memorize all the stuff that they are going to test you on. You just, I think, you just need to learn how to find it. And if you don't believe me, take I have a bunch of patent bar uh, past tests online. You're welcome to take that. And if you ace that, man, you know, you're the next Einstein. So you just skip the patent bar course, go right in there and take the test. Anyway, good luck.